name is Joel Terrio. I'm a fishing and hunting guide. I'm an environmental lawyer, and I absolutely love fishing and hunting. That passion for fishing and hunting really has driven me into wanting to protect the environment. I think it's totally natural for all sportsmen to want to protect what they love. The following program was brought to you by these fine sponsors. The lakefront and the view is phenomenal. Like uh, flying in in the air, it was to see all the little islands and uh, the river at the other end where the mouth is. It was uh, amazing. This uh, spot is just an unbelievable uh, spot. It's a beautiful log cabin, and uh, when we flew over the lake, it was just just so pristine. It's just a beautiful piece of water with nice sandy beaches. And as we got closer, you could see this beautiful log cabin. It's a beautiful vertical log cottage. It's built right on a point. It's got a sand beach on the south side. It's got some floating docks. It's got uh, these big, beautiful white pines uh, all around the cottage. So yeah, let's get some boats in the water and get this day started, man. I just want to go fishing today. I'll deal with the hard stuff tomorrow. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, I took a little walk down there by that creek. There's some nice fresh moose tracks down there. Is there? All along the, the shore here. If I was a moose, this is where I'd be hanging out. Nice little creek. Uh, looks like it'd be a nice spot to go for a walk. So a nice walleye. Lift it up, lift your nose out of the water. Lift your rod ear. Within a minute, we start catching fish. Uh, walleye, bass, uh, a couple pike. Perfect. Here. Well, I think we found a spot. I don't know what I got, but I got a nice fish. Uh, bass, a little smally. Okay, let me deal with this. Pass me a paddle, please. Okay. He's a little bit smaller than I'd like to keep, but he took the hook pretty bad, so. Fish on, fish on, fish on. I got a fish on too, Mark. You know how long that took us after I dropped that jug? It's okay. I got a small one, whatever I got. I got a small bass is what it feels like. Or maybe a not so small bass, it's hard to say. What do you got, Mark? I couldn't tell you. A little bass, I'm gonna let him go. How about you? You need a net? Looks like he's fighting. Looks like a nice walleye. Nice walleye. Good job, buddy. 16 and just just over 16. So that's perfect. I've never been to a point where walleye you just get to a spot as soon as you get there, okay, drop your line and bang, bang, bang. Like we're we're hitting right away. Better now. It did feel big at first. I think we hit the money. Uh, yeah, I think we now this will be number three. Oh, there she is. Yeah. See? It? See? Oh, yeah. Is it a walleye? Yeah. Oh, that's a walleye. Coming in. Yeah, yeah good we go. job in it. Better than my netting job, eh? <laughs> Tra I, I almost lost Travs earlier for him. Yeah, I literally, uh, I literally just pulled one in about five minutes ago. Yeah, but that's Same number, size. Th number three, and I think we found our spot, eh? Yeah, I think so. I think. Uh, if you want, I'll deal with that. If, if you want to get finished what you were doing, I can deal with that. I appreciate the net job. All right, number three, and let's go see Joel and Mark and uh, see if they're doing any better. If Me not, and Marco uh, are uh, are into the fish, and we're catching fish, double hitters. Miguel and Travis, double hitters. Go get another couple of fish, shall we? Yeah, we shall because we got to feed those people all the way at the other end over there. They'll be getting hungry, I'm sure. Poor Sean hooks into a fish, uh, forgets all about his motor, forgets all about the rock ledge, and gets drifted up into the rocks. You think we should go help Sean? He's been stuck on that rock pile for like 15 minutes, and we've caught like six or seven fish in that time. He looks like he keeps saying he's okay, but I think we should help him. I think we should. I think we should help him. How you doing? You need some help? You okay, Sean? Yeah, I did not know that I was going from 30 feet of water to 10 to 8. And next thing you know, I was in 2 feet of water and it was high winds. And I drifted right into the rocks, trying to paddle out. Couldn't get out. I literally had to jump out of the boat and uh, try to push into deeper water. And it just wasn't working out. I could see the guys. They were yelling, fish on, fish on. 
I wasn't going anywhere. I was hung up on a rock and there was no way I could get out. Well, look at that. Sean got off the rock all by himself. I'm proud of you, Sean. Good job, Sean. Thanks a lot, guys. It's another walleye, Mark. Kind of feels like it. Just wait a second. I'm screwed up and tangled on you. You're in my line here. I'm tangled on you. Fish on! on the there you go. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that fish. That'll feed a few mouths. Sean, you got a fish! Woohoo! Hey, 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 Sean. Sean, way to go! Good job, Sean. Nice job, buddy! Nice job, nice job. We can add you to the, to the club now. That came off nice and easy. Not bad, hey guys, not bad. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Thanks, Marco. Nice fish. I don't know. Nice walleye. I got him. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Nice walleye, boys. I think we got this figured out. I think we figured out how to do this walleye fishing I stuff. throw my marker out on this ridge line so that the other guys without a depth finder can see it. And, uh, and now everybody starts catching fish. How's that for a catch? I, I, I can already lift it. Oh, that's a bass. We're, we're gonna have bass tacos for dinner anyways. Really nice bass, buddy. Nice fish. Oh, nice bass. Really oh, nice yeah. fish. No, no, we don't need you in the water, Sean. No, we don't. Bass tacos sure. tonight or what? Sure. Hey, good job. Thank Let's you. get another fish or two and uh, we're basically yeah, uh, basically ready to get out of here. You're pretty good with those. Yeah, we do. You're doing Sean. a great job now, I'm see? Thinking, you get to hang out with us if you keep you, catching fish, You Sean. follow our lead and see? I'm thinking this is walleye and he's staying deep, man. Oh, it might be a big walleye. He is staying there's some, deep. There's some really big fish here, man. There he is. What is it? It's a walleye. Big one? Yeah, nice size. Woo oh, beauty. Nice shot. Nice shot. Good fish. Beauty a, fish, Sean. He's a big oh. one for the night. That's your over 18.1. Oh, he's a beauty, man. Better measure that one. He's a beauty. Don't don't lose him in the lake. I'd have to laugh. Twenty and a half. Fish so much today, and I got so many. I think I threw out my shoulder. Beautiful. Dude, oh, what a, what a day. Hey, Marco, I'm gonna do the cleaning. You can't go wrong. Right? You're gonna uh, you're gonna do some of the prep. I will do some of the prep. Those big bass fillets. They end up like big steaks, man. Oh, those, those are, are like nice big steaks when they're cut. I think we're gonna do some uh, fish tacos with uh, some of the fish, and we're gonna do it uh, regular uh, uh, breaded and fried on the, on the, in the oil. So, a couple different options. We'll see how that goes. So bass tacos, you ready and excited or what? Yeah, I haven't had a piece of bass. Well, actually, that's not true. We had some last night, but I haven't had a real bass meal in a long time. You're managing pretty good with this blindness you got, Miguel. Yeah, I'm starting to kind of adapt now, and uh, now that it's been a, Almost a year now. I'm starting to get used to it, but still challenges. Yeah, no kidding. That was pretty spot on when we uh, picked that random spot on the island, and then. So what is it? We were going around the island, and you found a drop there. Is that well, what? Well, Sean said? kind of found the structure first. You saw Sean get yeah, all hung up on the rocks. Up. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, he got totally pinned up on the rocks, yep. and then basically the wind pushed us around to the back side of the reef, and it was the same kind of structure. It was real deep. And then a real fast, deep drop off. Hey guys, how are you guys making out on uh, on those fish taco on the on the prep? Give me a break right now. I just want to enjoy that beautiful sunset for the next 15, 20 minutes. Then I'll get back to cooking. I thought that pressure off my feet thing was a pregnant woman saying, but you get the same problem. Have you seen my doubt? Expecting. You're off the hook. We're we're just about done. We need to get some shims under this to get this thing level. We're having a hard time. Would you like a wood shim? Maybe like that? A wood shim would be awesome, right? Well, that's why there I put go. it across on that. That's right? it. I don't know if the wood that's shim it. would last. We're right on the fire. Long. See? We got it. Good job. Oh, we got, I think we need bigger plates. I think so. I think we got the, Look uh, at the, the ratio. We got the big tortillas, but small yeah. plates. So. How much better than this can you get? Look, look, look at it. Right. Oh man, what a feast. It looks more like a... This is the first time I have a bass taco. 